Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome into another edition, a Friday edition of Talking Fitchburg. It is I, Andrew Bamlitz. It is October 26th. Again, Friday. Can't believe it's here. TGIF. It is Friday, folks. Welcome in. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, again, you've seen Jeremy, me, Jeremy, Preston, Jeremy. You never know what you're going to get when you pop in here uh, until Jeremy's back uh, full time. Uh, so it's me today. Welcome. Hopefully you enjoy. So today is a good show. You get to see Jeremy two segments though. So only me right now. Then we're going to see Jeremy for the just in case you missed it segment of today in the digest. And of course we're going to go out uh, to our favorite bakery shop here, the Rolling Pin Bake Shop and um, talk with uh, Tanya and Jeremy about a Halloween treat. So stick around for that. Uh, I'll give you a hint, you, you blink around them. That's the kind of treat we're making today. Uh, so we'll see if you can guess what it is by the time we get there. Uh, and it's really tasty, though, so stick around. Don't go away. All right, we're going to dive right in here. Uh, first, we're going to start with um, the council proposed amendments of 2019 budget. They are available. So you uh, can go to the website uh, to access the mayor's proposed budget and the council proposed amendments at uh, our Fitchburg website of fitchburgwi.gov right on there on the front page um, under the news tab you will see it there you can go look at everything and see the amendments so that is that so that's just I wanted to keep you up to date uh, that you can go view those amendments all right we're going to go now out to uh, last night they had a ribbon cutting for Novation Senior uh, Commons and we were out there and we're going to go to that now great day and, and very appreciative of everybody being here. The stakeholders here really uh, did an unbelievable job. This was our first 4% deal that we closed in the state of Wisconsin and one of the, uh, we probably couldn't have closed at a worse time. Many of you remember we had tax reform, credit pricing, and it really is a testament to all of our partners and all the stakeholders that uh, you know, stood by us, stood by the deal, by the residents, the people we serve here, and it's really a, a wonderful day be able to be here at these grand openings. Uh, we're very excited about, appreciate all the support that we've gotten from both the town of Madison, the city of Fitchburg, WIDA, really excited just to continue the relationships and continue to try and figure it out and build a, a great product that we're all really happy to drive by and, and excited about. I have first hand knowledge of the lack of affordable senior housing in the area. In our recent housing plan, we found that Fitchburg would need to add 640 senior housing units to by 2030, and of those units, 512 will need to be affordable. By collaborating with WIDA, by providing tax credits, financing for the Frel Home Loan Bank, and Dane County and TIF assistance, Fair Development was able to construct this new high quality, affordable housing project that meets the needs of our senior residents. With the opening of Innovation Commons, our hope is that developers such as Bear Development will continue to be a leader in providing an affordable senior housing project in the city of Fitchburg. I feel an application for 640 units coming on. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a native of Madison, so I have, I've been driving this area literally uh, all 39 years and, uh, of my life. And uh, uh, so I remember a lot of the challenges that this neighborhood has had uh, over the years. And, and so uh, to see all the action that we've seen in this neighborhood in the last several years literally is gratifying to me because I've I've seen it grow up and deal with the challenges that it's had. And, and so it's, it's really uh, gratifying actually to kind of see where this is going. I also like the fact that there are so many partners on this thing. Because truly, and, and you know, it's kind of almost a throwaway line to say, oh geez, we need everybody working together and all that sort of thing. But on projects like this, you really do need everybody working together or they very simply don't happen. There's such a great need for this type of housing and we see it all over the country and we're so happy to be a part of it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yay. Hey, oh, I didn't think on it. <laughs> Well, it looks like it had a pretty good turnout there for the ribbon cutting. Uh, congratulations to them. And hopefully they fill up those um, spaces real quick for them and keep business going. All right, now we're going to go to um, an interview we had a couple weeks ago with the Fitchburg Library about the uh, Halloween hunt that is tomorrow. Tim, hot dog man, take it away. 
Um, yeah, we're having our 11th annual Halloween hunt, and that is why I'm dressed in this fabulous costume right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, it's going to be on Saturday, October 27th. Uh, it goes from 6 to 8 p.m. is the actual um, Halloween hunt portion. And then from 8 to 9.30, we're also showing a movie. Uh, this year, it's going to be Monsters, Inc., um, oh, I think we I should. I love that movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's wonderful. We're serving popcorn, but you know, I'm kind of considering maybe some, like cocktail wieners or something <laughs> like hot dog related. Well, you think would be you better. would want to do that? Like, <laughs> you well, and your buddies might want to run. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, the the event is always wonderful and, and fabulous. We have so many people from the community and the surrounding area that come to visit. Uh, we're going to have two magicians, uh, well, actually, one magician, two magic shows this year. Um, we're going to have balloon twisters. We'll do crafts and activities. Uh, there'll be treats and prizes. You guys will be there. Yes, what will you be doing? We, uh, as you saw there, we take some pictures of uh, all of the great costumes. So, yeah, we have free photos going on again in the teen section. And uh, like you said, <clears throat> the community has uh, embraced this event like no other. And you guys yes. take it to the next level every year. Love it. Um, if you haven't been there, you got to get out there. Bring the kiddos. It's just fun to see everybody's costume. Like every year, yes. I'm like, oh my god, look at that guy! Look at that! Look yep. at it. You know, they're cutest kiddos ever out there. And as you can see here, tomorrow the Great Halloween Hunts, the 11th annual, tomorrow six to eight, October 27th. Be there. Be dressed. Be ready. We're there with pictures, of course, and hopefully Tim will be there in his hot dog suit. If not, at least you just got to see him again right now. All right, now last story here. We're going to have the Fitchburg Historical Society Fall Me, which is also this weekend. It's on Sunday the 28th from 1.30 to 2.30 at the Fitchburg Public Library. And uh, it's at 5530 Lacey Road. And they are presenting the program of the Nevin State Fish Hatchery, James uh, Jason Heimbach, uh, the current operation tech at Nevin. will be there to talk about... Uh, their current uh, runnings and operations, and also the history of the hatchery. And if you missed, we had um, Adrian on from the Historical Society yesterday on the show, which is now on Facebook. And you can go back and look, and she kind of gives a preview to what's coming up for that. All right, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, Jeremy will have, just in case you missed it, right here on Talking Fitchburg. <laughs> 